There are several methods to add images to your MFC projects. Let's take a look at a few. First, let's take a look at the easiest method. The easiest method to add images to an MFC project is to use bitmap images, and then you can use a picture control. To do this, open the resource editor for a CDLR window and add an MFC picture control from the toolbox. Then, open the picture control's properties and change the type property from the default of frame to bitmap. Next, create a global pointer to a C static class object. Next, associate the C static pointer with the picture control using the function get dialog item and casting it to the correct data type and on init dialog. Again, remember you must do this before you call any methods with the pointer, otherwise you'll get a null pointer exception and it will crash. Next, in your code where you want to display the image, create an hbitmap object. In this case, hbitmap entity image. Then call the method or function load image and cast the return value to an hbitmap. You'll need to supply some arguments, in this case the name and, if necessary, the directory of the file, the width, the height, and also load from file if you're loading the bitmap from a file. Finally, once you've done this, just call the method setBitmap on the pointer you have set up to your picture control, passing in the hbitmap as an argument. And then you're all set. Your image will display. Here in this example, I have three picture controls, one here, here, and here. Scroll up so you can see the interface. Now, I'm using other methods on these picture controls, which we'll talk about later. But the method that we just talked about, the easiest method probably, I'm using right here where I'm setting the player's avatar. So if you look at the properties and I come down here, the ID is PC avatar and the type is bitmap. Well, the default is frame, so you want to modify that and change it to bitmap. And in case you're wondering where you get them from, it's from the toolbox, just like all the other MFC components. So you just go down, you find a picture control, you drag and drop it onto your form. Once you do that, again, you want to make sure that you change the type from the default frame to bitmap, and then you're all set. And then, just like all the other MFC components, we have to set up, you know, a pointer and call get dialog item and get those things, uh, you know, connected to each other. So let me go to the globals header file, and here's all of my interface globals that I've set up. And if you look, these three C static controls here are all for picture controls. So PC for the the, the view, PC for the map and a PC for the player's avatar. Well, the one corresponding to the first method using the hbitmap is this one, PC avatar. All right, so here's the picture control and its ID, PC avatar. Here's the global pointer. It's called lowercase p, you know, PC avatar for pointer to PC avatar. Remember that once we do that, we have to go into our main CPP file. And let me drop down Here, and here's a method I have called setup interface pointers, where I'm just calling get dialog item to set up all of my pointers. And so remember, I have to associate it. So here's the pointer, here's the resource file item, here's my call to the method get dialog item. And remember, I have to cast it to the appropriate data type, in this case, a C static control. Okay. And once I do that, I'm all set. I can actually create an H bitmap and pass it in using set bitmap. And an example of that is right here in the display stats function. Okay, I have a data member here. Let me scroll down to the bottom of my ADT and my class hierarchy. This is the entity class and uh, let's go way down here. Okay. Alright, so I have a data member here. It's a C string called image. And we can just store you know a bitmap or an image for the player's avatar. And we have public you know accessors to get at and set the private data. And when I do that, like notice up here, I'm calling the function initialize entity from the constructor. I'm just giving it a default value of boy1.bmp. Okay. And when I do that, in my display stats method, if you come down here, here's where I'm using the first method that we just talked about. I have an H bitmap. It's called entity image. I'm calling the method load image and I'm casting the return value to an H bitmap. Here is the directory. In this case, it's in a subdirectory called avatars. Image is that private data member. It's the name of the file, boy1.bmp. That's just a C string. So we're concatenating that together. So it'll have the, you know, the, the full relative path. And then some flags here, image bitmap, the width, the height. And then we're loading it from a file, so lr load from file. And once I've done that, I can take my pointer to my picture control. Remember, that was PC avatar. That was my pointer that I set up and would get that log item. 
and I can call the method or the function set bitmap and pass in my instance that I've built of H bitmap, which is called entity image. And boom, that that would display the player's avatar. And to see that in action or see how that works, um, go ahead and load this. All right, so here's the player's avatar. So that's just a bitmap image. Note. This first method only works with bitmaps. Don't attempt to display JPEGs or GIFs with this method. Now we're going to take a look at a method that will allow you to display JPEG and GIF image files in your MFC project. However, it's a little bit more involved. Like the first method, we start out adding a picture control to our C dialog from the toolbox. Once we do this, we'll change the picture controls type property from the default frame to bitmap. Third, we'll create a global pointer to a C static class object just like we did before. Fourth, we'll associate the cstatic pointer with the picture control using the function get dialog item and casting it to the correct data type in onInit dialog or a method called from onInit dialog, just like we did before. All of that so far is pretty much the same. Now here's where it gets different. The next thing we need to do is include the file atlimage.h and our globals. This will provide us access to the C image class object. Once we've done this, in our code where we want to display the image, we need to create a C image object and a C bitmap object. Do this local within the function so it's created and destroyed each time the function ends. You don't want to use globals in this instance or you may have issues. Here's an example. C image view image and C bitmap view bitmap. I've just instantiated a C image and a C bitmap object. Next, in step 7, we want to load the JPEG or GIF file into the C image object using the load method. Here's an example. Next, we need to attach the C image object to the C bitmap object by passing it in as an argument to the C bitmap's attach method and calling detach on the C image object. For example, here's our instance of C bitmap view bitmap and we're calling the attach method. As an argument, we're passing in our view image C image object and we're calling its detach method. Finally, once we've done all this, we can call the method set bitmap on the pointer to the picture control just like we did before and this time we want to pass in the C bitmap as an argument casting it to an H bitmap object. Here's an example. We might think we're finished at this point, but there's still a few more things we need to do. Remember I said before that this method was a little bit more involved, and it is than the first, but if you want to display JPEGs and GIFs and not only bitmaps, these things are necessary. So the few remaining steps we have to perform are, we need to add the onwm paint message ID to the MFC message map tags for our C dialog or our picture controllers where we want to display our JPEGs or GIFs. After we do this, we need to override the MFC on paint method. Once we do that, inside our overridden MFC on paint method, we want to call the CPaint DC method and pass in the this pointer. This will cause our JPEGs or GIFs to display in the picture control when the screen is repainted. Here in the second example, I'm applying the second method. So I've added a picture control to my C dialog, and like the first one, I changed the type from the default of frame to bitmap. Once I did that, I went over to Globals and the Globals header file. And let me go to my interface pointers. I had to set up a pointer. In this case, I called it PC View, and it's a pointer to a C static class object. Once I did that, I had to go call the method get dialog item. <clears throat> and I'm doing that from on and dialog, so it happens automatically. We want to make sure we do this before we call any other methods or try to pass in you know, an object or call set bitmap. Otherwise, we'll get null pointer problems and it'll crash. But in this case, here's my global pointer, here's the resource object, here's my call to get the log item, and I'm casting it to the right data type, in this case, a C static control. So that sets me up as far as my interface. Now remember, the next thing I need to do is add the header file, atlimage.h, and I put that in globals. And that allows me access to the C image class object. And once I've done all that, then if I go to functions, here in navigation in center one is an example of where I'm actually using a C image and a C bitmap. So, local to the method or to the function, I'm going to declare a C image object called view image and a C bitmap object called view bitmap. On the C image object, view image, or my instance of it, I call the load method. And I pass in the name of the JPEG file and the directory path where it's located. Once I do that, on my instance of C bitmap, in this case view bitmap, I call the attach method. And then as an argument to that function, I pass in my instance of C image view image and call the detach method on my C image object. Finally, once I've done that, 
I can then take view bitmap, which is my instance of C bitmap, and I can pass it in as an argument, casting it to an H bitmap object using the method set bitmap. And then it will display using my pointer to my picture control. Now at this point we might think we're done, but we're not. Remember, there's still a few more things we need to do. So I'm going to go over to my main CPP file for my C dialog class object, my interface, and in my message map tags for that object, I need to add the message ID of on WM paint. Okay. Once I add that to my message map tags for my C dialog within the class, or if you're doing outline definitions outside, but in this case within the class, I need to override the on paint method. Let me scroll up here and find where I'm overriding on paint. Way up here. Okay. All right. And then once I do that and I override the on paint method, I need to build an instance of a C paint DC object and pass them to this pointer. And at that point, it will display the JPEGs properly. Okay. And this is just sort of a view as the player walks around in the game. It's showing different JPEGs, but I'll show you how it works. If I click start. Here. So this, these are JPEGs that are being displayed as I repaint everything on the interface. So as I repaint, it's just displaying a different JPEG. And I could have made these bitmaps, but the file size is tremendous. If I use JPEGs, it's only 4.5 megabytes. And if I use bitmaps, it's 122 megabytes. So in this instance, I chose to use the second method to display JPEGs. Finally, we'll take a look at adding bitmap images directly to and compiling them in your MFC project. This means there is yet another method for adding bitmaps to your MFC project. You can simply open up the resource file editor and add them directly to your project as resources. Utilizing this method, I would just go to my resource file and click on my resource file name. I'd say add resource. And notice under my options here, I can add a bitmap. So I could import. And then what I could do is let me go find some bitmaps where I have some bitmaps here. Right? So here's a bitmap. So I'm going to import A1 corridor. I'll do that. And notice it imports it here into the editor. And now I have this category of object here, IDB bitmap1. So it actually has a reference ID. And I can reference it by frame. And I could then turn around and add it to a picture control and display it that way as well.